right, welcome and welcome back to Wiggins TV. Hey, part two. You know, this one right here was in high demand, man. They really effing with this interview right here, man. So welcome back. The man, the myth, the legend, man. BD from Hard Time Hustler Crips, part two. Yeah, yeah, what it do, what it do, bro? For sure, for sure. All right, so. Yeah. Let's. Let's let let's 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 get into um hustlers as as a whole. Like the hustler like the whole hustler nation car. Yeah. So what so back when you started, what were all the hustler crips like that were out at that time that may not be out today? When I started, look, when I very first started I, look, honestly, I thought uh, 10 4 Hard Time Hustler was the only Hard Time Hustlers. I never knew it was other ones until just having further talks with older. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, you, you, hey, look, it baffled the shit out of me to know there was other. So I was excited. I'm like, where they at? I'm like, what's up? I'm like, you know, where they at? Like, you know, and when I start meeting them, you know, <laughs> you know, we, you know, uh, 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 uh. The first uh, 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 homies I heard about was the 8-8, you know what I'm saying? And uh, mm -hmm. met, I met the homie uh, Baby Speedy. Me, 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 and uh, me and my boy LD was doing uh, some music on Maine and Manchester. This was back in like early 90s, man, early 90s. We was, when niggas were still wearing khakis and corduroy house shoes and shit, right? So... Oh. I had uh, I had met Speedy, and that was uh, he, 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 uh, he, asked, he asked me where I was from. I, I let him know where I was from, and he was like, "Oh yeah," and he banged his hood back. <clears throat> I'm like, "But God damn it, where, who, who are you?" <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's when you know, that's when we, you know, got familiarized with each other, and then it was all gravy, man. I'm like, "Oh shit, hold on, man. You mean to tell me?" And then, you know, you know, motherfuckers back in them days, we all was just small little hoods, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, motherfuckers was just meeting each other, you know, here and there. You know, might have a little function or something and collaborate. And, you know, you learn more heads. And, you know, you discover you got a couple more streets over here. And I'm like, God damn. But we yeah. all, you know, came from different sides of town. You see what I'm saying? Sure. Different sides of town. So it's like, you know, you grew up over here. You got partners from over here in this region, from that section. You know what I'm saying? And then you guys grew up over here in this area where, you know, you might have some partners and, you know, some potential enemies or maybe enemies over in this section. And then you got guys over here, but you all are under the same thing, but y'all got four different situations going on. It's like four different hoods with the same name. You see what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. And but, you... but, 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 yeah, to uh, answer the uh, other part of that question, I knew about, uh, that's what I learned about other hard times. Then I started knowing about, you know, like the East Side Hustlers. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. For sure. So, you you said something interesting a while ago. You said you was on Manchester in Maine. Now, from my memory, I remember that area is like maybe 84 Main Street and 87 Gangsters. That's like yeah, exactly. the same area where that thing happened to old boy, the rapper. I ain't, you know, I ain't going to say it on here. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Did you? I was actually uh, performing in that uh, parking lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever, you know, I'm assuming that you went there more than once, did you did you um run into any problems cuz you know the 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 um I'm not sure if y'all cool with the with the um with the mains was were cool with the mains at that time, but did anybody cuz the Swans is, is in the area too in close proximity, did you ever run into anybody from an opposing hood? When you was over there? No, but back then, uh, 
that 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 beef that started uh with the homies in the main streets didn't exist at that time. That that that, that was a non existent beef and uh you know, the swans it's like you gotta go across like Avalon and a little to the right and maybe to the left a little bit you know, you gotta go across there. I mean they over there, but over there with number eight sevens and uh main streets, then you go across Broadway, you got some hoovers over there, you know, in that little right. region. It was like I'm in the hood. You got then you got some coasters, you hit Broadway. No, is that, is that, is that no, that's, that's I, I think that's Florence. You probably have to go to Florence to see, uh, hit the coast hood. So, yeah. Oh. But, yeah, that, no, nah, it was, it was good back then, man. It wasn't no problems like that, man. It was, it was pretty cool. All right, for sure, for sure. Yeah, so, I wanted to ask you about this as well, man. I spoke to some hobbies from 9 0. And I've been hearing about this for a while, man. I know you were OG. You most likely know about this, man. Is it true, like, at one point, like, the 9-0s and the 10 hard times had a little friction? Yeah, uh, I was in I was in the pen when that went down, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, yeah, I was in the pen when that went down. But yeah, 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 yeah. It was a little scrimmaging going on at one point in time, yep. But it's all good. It's all good now. Oh, uh, all right. All right, for sure, for sure. Uh, yeah, them now. Everything gravy, yep, yep. That's right, that's right. All right, well, now let's get into um, let's get into some clarity on the faux size of your hood, man. You know, let's, like, kind of clarify. I know we talked about it last time, but... You know, let's kind of let's kind of break it down. You know, uh, uh, you say about the four sides. Yep, yep. All right. Well, I mean, like I say, uh, 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 you know what side we come from. You know, you know we 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 grew up in an area where it's uh, predominantly neighborhoods. You know, Crips. Right. Um, right. <clears throat> That was that was what existed in our section, you know. You got to understand before before Hard Time Hustler came into play, you know, Crippen exists, you know what I'm saying, in that hood, mm-hmm. definitely a barrier, you know what I mean. So, uh, you know, by us growing up, going to school, and uh, having neighbors and you know acquaintances, and you know just just family ties, you go automatically adapt to your environment that you grew up in. So. We grew up on in one section. You got, you know, you got you got 103rd Street down on Figueroa. Mm-hmm. Up over in that section, you know, that's predominantly Hoovers and you know Diva Lanes. Mm-hmm. And got a crossover on the other side. You got some Broadways, Main Street. That's what's predominant over in that section. But predominantly, they their main area is more predominantly a Hoover infested type of area. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, they grew up with those guys over there and go to school and got buddies and things of that nature. Then you got other homies on the east side, you know. You got the 8-8s on the east side, you know, over there towards uh, Avalon, you know, San Pedro, town, right. Right. you know, by the park. By the park. And they, they, park. They, yep. they come up around over by the 8-7s. You know, you got the Swans across the way. You got the Avalon Gardens across the way. And you got the main streets in that area, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. So, you, the guys, if you grew up in that area, you went to school, elementary school, things of like that, and them are the people you go going to grow up around. So, wherever section you come from, that's where you grow up at, man. You're going to have, you know, friends and foes of that nature in that section. And then you got the 7-8s. Seven 7-8s eight. Seven is the OG, uh, OG squad. They... they they older, man. You ain't really gonna find no young niggas coming up out of there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so right. they are uh, pretty much on Broadway, like Broadway, 79, 80th, 81st, like somewhere up in that area. You know what I'm saying? That's when you know by that police station. You gotta watch out over there, boy. It's hot. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. Gotta watch it, man. It get tricky. But yeah, man. So they are, uh, you know, close to coasts. You know. They they close to Hoover's coasts, uh, Main Street, Swan. They over there, shit, in the gumbo pot too. You feel me? Right. So at the end of the day, homie, you know, by motherfuckers growing up in different sections, like I say, man, you got different politics. <clears throat> you know, uh, right, right. You know, 
that 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 a drive division, especially like if you align yourself with someone I might not align myself with, that might cause a little friction. You know what I'm saying, and vice versa. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. So right. you know, you know, it's a little it's a little dysfunction going on. You know, we got a little dysfunctional family going on. You know what I'm saying. But it's all right. At the end of the day, though, you know what I'm saying. When motherfuckers is together, you know what I'm saying. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing to nobody in that crew. You know what I'm saying. You know, for sure. You know, despite despite the differences, man, if motherfuckers is together. You know, niggas, the niggas ain't about to see you do no harm to another one. You know what I'm saying? Not not in my presence, but you know what I'm saying. So for sure. You know, it's just politics and things, but it's still love at the same time. Right, you know, right. It's the families where still we still love each other, but you know, you know, it's that you know you fight your cousins and shit like that. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And go drink a, and go drink some brew after that. And smoke some weed, you know. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, but it's all good. It's good, man. It's, it's gravy. You know what I'm saying? You know, as time progress, man, things come together. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Things come together with time. You know what I mean? For sure. For sure. All right. So uh, uh, another thing, like, what about them hustler crips? That's like kind of far forth y'all like uh low bottom hustler crips and mac and thug and one four six guardina like yeah kind of touch on those a little bit because you know we don't hear about those much often that's no disrespect to y'all man all well you know so much uh you know because i don't i don't i don't really be i'm not a real drifter like that where i just go off and but i'm running in niggas in jail and things of that nature so like you know, I run into certain individuals from different hustler sets that's solid. You know what I'm saying? But I'm always, I'm, I'm real inquisitive. And I be like, I ask a lot of questions. I be wanting to know about Daisy and where they, you know. And like, how, how y'all come with the pinky and thumb? Like, who, 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 where did y'all get that from? You know, like, what do y'all think that means? Right. But that's, because we had homies that used to politic on the pinky and thumb, man. And it's like, bro, you know. That's hard time hustler to us, like, man, you know, like, it's hustler, yeah, it's much love, you know, it, 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 it formulated how it formulated, but in the beginning, we used to, like, feel some type of way about that, like, man, that means hard time, so if you throw that up, that means you HTH, homie, you have to put that HT on that hustler, you feel me? Mm-hmm. But it's all good, man, that's back when I was young, man, I was a politicker, so you gotta excuse me, homie, you know what I'm saying? I was serious about that hard time. Like, I wanted everybody to see hard time. Anybody that was a hustler, I wanted them to see a hard time. So, you know, it, 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 wherever they was at, <clears throat> yes, I embraced them. If they was some solid niggas, yeah, I embraced any nigga. You know, if he, if he, if he really on some hustler shit and he trying to, like, be solid to the team, he's showing some solidarity and some loyalty to the team, I ain't going to turn him away and he represent. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know? I feel but that. But you know how go, you know how the game go. Nigga, you gonna be tried, tested, and approved, homie, and see how nigga, because nigga, a lot of hustlers fold, nigga. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? A lot of hustlers be turning other hoods, nigga, they be taking the hustle off they shit, nigga, and we go, we kept ours, and we go keep ours. You feel me? That's yeah. what I tell niggas all the time, nigga. You know, I'm one nigga, I'm gonna be honest, I don't cross my H's out, because I'm a hustler. And I'm a <laughs> I feel that. Like, I feel that. Like. Nigga, my H's, nigga, because I'm from hard. Nigga, my H's is hard. You know what I'm saying? So I, that's me, though. And I, you know, other homies that do what they do, whatever their reasons are, niggas have scrimmages with niggas and niggas feel how they feel about certain people, homie. So I can't be mad. And, you know, I can't be mad at how a nigga hate a nigga that, that does, done him some harm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I don't be I don't be mad, homie. I don't be mad at that. But I, I that's just me, cause I don't have to do that to 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 to, to make a symbol. To you know what I'm saying? How I feel is how I feel. And if you want to know, I'll tell you. You feel me? I don't have to like put a symbol to show you, nigga. You know? Right. Right. For sure. Now, uh, what about Acacia Block Hustlers? Do you know anybody from there? Uh. Shot I ran into too. a partner too. Uh, one one name I remembered, I think his name was Chuck Taylor. I think I think that was his name. That was that was the first cat I ever ran into. I was in the in the, in the pen, and I was uh, I think I was going on on a transfer or some shit like that. Met him in a transfer line or something. 
And uh, yeah, he was from a cage block. So that's the first time I actually had met one face to face. That was about shit, about 10, 10, 10, 10, 12 years ago or something like that. And yeah, but yeah, like I say, I was in prison when they uh really. I don't know when they really came out, uh, but when I first heard of them, I was uh, I was in the pen. You know, but yeah, they 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 cool, homie. Like I say, I ain't heard nothing bad. And you know, everybody starts somewhere, homie. Every hood started somewhere, nigga. Nobody hood just came off top and being what it was like that, homie. That right. shit started so. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, I ain't heard nothing bad. Them niggas, they 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 established. They must be doing something right, nigga. They 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 letting their shit be known. They setting the tone somewhere. You feel me? Right. So, hey. You know, and I had, I had somebody told me to ask you about this one. What about the East Side Seven Hundred Six um, hustlers out in Bellflower? Oh, I am so motherfucking glad you mentioned that. They're, oh yes, sir, yes, sir. All right, so look, so the Seven Hundred Six is right mm-hmm. now. Seven Hundred Six. Remember, I told you about uh, Wilton Place Hustlers. You know, my 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 my, my first little crew we had on 102nd Street when I was a young nigga before I started cripping, right? Right. We had Wilton Place Hustlers. Now check this out. We had a couple of partners, two brothers that left 102nd Street back in maybe 89, 90, right? Right. They left and went to Bellflower. One brother was from Horror Time, and the other brother was from Wilton Place Hustlers. And they moved to Bellflower. Mm. And at first, 706 Hustler was 706 Wilton Place Hustler, right? Wow. But, but it didn't make sense because there wasn't a Wilton out there. So they took the they took the Wilton Place off and left 706 Hustler. And guess what? That gang stuck and it stayed. And it's still there in Bellflower. But they not Crips, though. They just hustlers. And I'm like, man, I run into a few of them, and I always tell them how they hood started. I mean, I'm like, I know what's up with y'all. I'm like, I didn't come out there like when the homies moved out there or nothing to, like, you know, check y'all out or nothing. You know, I just ran across cats, and, and like I say, in jail, you run across everybody. You go to jail, you go run across everybody from everywhere. You know what I mean? So, wow. you know. Yeah, man. So, yeah, man, I read across a couple of them. You know, I mean, I don't got nothing bad to say about them. I don't really know too much, you know. I don't know too much about them. I know they're not no Crips and no blood. They just, you know, hustlers. But, you know, I don't know what they got going on down there in Bellflower. I don't, like I said, I don't really go too far on my jurisdiction. I mean, like, I, I, I keep it I keep it where I know something about And if I, if I go anywhere outside, it's because I got some folks or I got a destination. But just wandering around... You know what I'm saying? Some bullshit. Like, nah, I don't get out. I mean, that is dope, man. People gonna really appreciate... This is real history. People's gonna appreciate this one because people... You just blew my mind, homie. A lot of people don't know how they started and... Wow, bro, yeah. I appreciate that, bro. Look, I'm gonna cool. tell you like this, homie. Hard time hustlers is the granddaddy. All right? Just know that. <laughs> All my hustlers, but nigga, just know, just know what's up. Just know, man. Just know where this shit come from. It was some real hard ass niggas that set that tone, nigga, because niggas, niggas thought hustlers was weak, nigga. You feel me? Niggas thought hustlers was weak. Like I don't understand that philosophy, but anyway, yeah, they thought hustlers was weak, homie. I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess you had to be a gangster jacker and shit. Like just go pistol whip a nigga or shoot him up and take his shit. Like nigga, that shit too easy, homie. Nigga, you ain't doing nothing. Nigga, the gun doing everything if you're doing it like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> nigga, sit down and use your motherfucking brain and do some mathematics. That's what's wrong with niggas, homie. They don't want to use their motherfucking brain, homie. They want everything easy, nigga. That's why you go out easy, nigga, because you want everything easy. You feel me? Easy come, easy go. For sure. That's why you got to play it hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stay hard, nigga. <laughs> yeah. For sure, for sure. Uh, I had another question to ask you, man, and it's a little touchy, man. So I'm, 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 I'm gonna be very respectful about it, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, we all heard about the little friction. Well, not little. It's it's something going on with the, with the hundreds, man. You know, one side. I'm not gonna say no names, but 
you know, one side is not getting along with the other side, man, and it, it, it cause it's a big problem with the huntings, man. In the uh, yeah, uh, it, can you can you see that in the near future, like you know, coming to an end, like? I mean, every anything possible, man. Anything possible. I mean, that shit ain't nothing that ain't never happened before. Like that that shit has happened like amongst. I think every everybody, man, shit, it have been a couple scrimmages with inside the hundreds, you know what I'm saying? Now, uh, 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 how serious they get or not is, is one thing, but it, there's been, that's not the first time, and, you know, things have, uh, things have uh, found a way with time to mend themselves. I, I, I really don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's when I can't really uh, speak on, man, because, you know, like right. I say, that's just like when you fight with your brothers and your cousins, and you know what I'm saying? You know, you, you, it's like frenemies, homie, because you're going to have people that's with it and people that's not with it. You know what I mean? So eventually, man, I think it'll die itself out. Like, I think I think the candles, you know, will put itself out, homie. I mean, I, I would hope so, because that shit ain't cool. Motherfuckers too close for that stupid ass shit, and that shit be over bullshit. It be over pride and ego, um. So, you know, niggas gotta uh, man up, um, put some big boy draws on, nigga, and, and, and respect this shit, man, and respect each other, um. You know, that's the only way this shit go happen, niggas. As long as niggas disrespect and thinking they bigger than program, man, shit like that is go perpetuate across the whole city. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Because it's no structure, homie. It's no structure, homie. It's no respect, man. We had love. We loved our homies back in the days. I mean, we used to love our big homies. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We was young niggas, man. We loved our big homies, man. We used to like look for instructions and like we wanted to fuck with them. Now, niggas want to separate themselves and make their own little teams and crews, and then that shit cause division, homie. Once you do that, you cause a division amongst your troops, homie. Why you? Bringing a cr another crew inside of a crew, bro, that's bringing division, homie, and that's always going to be a problem. Yeah. That's always going to be a problem. Nigga, we got one family only, nigga. We don't, we didn't, we didn't, you know? Right. It wasn't the Gambinos and the Frappuccinos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Nah, man. Shit. But nah, I mean, I don't know, bro. I, I hope so. <clears throat> you know, sure. I pray it do. Yeah. Because it's loved ones, it's loved ones' lives. Uh, at stake with that shit, bro, on both sides. And it's like, man, ain't no ain't, nigga not rooting for no side. Nigga, nigga rooting for that shit to be stopped. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. All right, for sure. Uh, I had two more questions left, so I want to ask you for sure. It's a little touchy again, man, but what's up with the... How did the Playboy Hustler thing start, man? Like, you know, I'm hearing they don't get along with niggas and all that. Can, can you break that down a little bit or no? You know what? I, 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 I'm <clears throat> so like I say, man, I can tell you from my generation standpoint, uh, far as with, with, with the Playboys and the Playboy Hustlers, Playboy Styles, it's, it's, it's the alliances, I believe. Not only, not only so much as... Alliances has a lot to do with a lot of beefs that niggas be having with different hoods, homie. And, and these hoods, certain hoods probably ain't got no problem with each other. They ain't never done nothing to each other. But just because a nigga say, I'll the whoop the whoop whoop something cryptic, the one you don't like, or the one you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, or, the, yeah. or, the one, or, the one, or the ones your homeboys don't like. Oh, you from the hood, the homies don't like. Your hood really ain't got no problem. But you didn't jumped on the bandwagon pretty much, right? Right, right. And that, as shit progressed and it created, uh, you know, either you going to be a neighborhood, you going to be with the Hoover Gangster team, or you going to be a Damu, you know, things of that nature. You know, those are going to be the sides. But your hood is aligned with one of these ain't no... I mean, it wasn't like that, bro. Niggas that took that shit and made some whole new shit because, like I say, homie, I, mean, I can tell you about some gangsta crips that was rolling. <laughs> and a motherfucker be like, how you how you rolling and, and gangsta? Nigga, because what you mean? Who said that? Who said, who said that was? Yeah, see, y'all got some misconstrued information, but it took a turn for what it took. Now it's official guideline now. And like I said, PBH, Playboys, and, you know, hoods like that, they align themselves with Hoover's H-Ray Gangsters, which 
they show you they okay, the NHK, whatever. You know what I mean? So yeah. therefore, automatically you 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 an enemy by default. Right. Period. So it is with it's like it's like it's like it's like one of them things, nigga, what's up? You from where all right and shit, then you ain't tripping no homie. You know what I'm saying? We ain't never had no scrimmage with y'all niggas. Now it's like if you tripping, I'm tripping or not, nigga, and then it depends on if they deep or not also. It's just different things of that nature, but it's the alliances. It's the alliances that these guys make. And now they done fucked it up to the point to where you got to, whatever new hoods come out from this day forward, they got to watch the name they get a hood. Don't say you from something, something gangster crip or you from whoop the uh, neighborhood first watch or whatever. You know, you better not <laughs> name your hood nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. You better not name your hood nothing with none of those names in there because automatically you just align yourself. Right. By default. Right. Don't say your hood is, uh, 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 you know, African American criminal gang. You know what I'm saying? No, because now you from Hoover. Y'all with the Hoovers. Automatically. So now you got to watch because niggas have took it and, and put a, uh, put a mold on it. <laughs> right. So, so basically that's where that, uh, the, uh, the PBSs was the original enemies of hard times, you know, from my knowledge. The 106s, and uh, like I say, uh, if I if I ain't correct on that, I can get I can I can get correct. You know what I'm saying? But uh, those were the originals, and then PBH. I don't even know they. I guess they stem from the PBS. I don't know. Like, what's the name of the original PBS? 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 Like, what's the name of the right there with them, and then they all had their little alliance right there. So, you know, if it's fuck us, it's fuck you. You feel me? And that's how that goes. Right. I could dig it. Now, my last question, man, then we gonna get it in the... I'm gonna let you take over, man. I, I, I know for a fact, bro, them apartments over there, like, in, in your hood, like, on Century, I forgot what they call, they behind that liquor store. Ralph's yeah. Liquor. Was yeah. that, I know for, you know, I ain't gonna say too much, but you know, it, it's pretty, it get pretty tricky over there, man. And uh, was those apartments always there when you was growing up? Or? No? Oh, hell yeah. Shit, man, I remember when the motherfuckers didn't have no gates. I remember when the motherfuckers, you could just walk straight through, come all the way back through the, man, look, I remember when shit was wide open around that motherfucker. I remember when it was on the corner. I remember when they was up and running and when they burnt down before they rebuilt them. See, they rebuilt the, the, the newer ones on the other end, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that's, that was mm. my playground growing up as a kid. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like, hell yeah. Like, nigga, that motherfucker, like, look, anywhere where, you know, you have high active, you know, it's high activity. It's, it's a highly active, uh, you know, high energy, high energy area. Anywhere it's a high energy area, man, it's going to be a lot of activity. You know what I'm saying? And that's a high energy section right there. So, you know, it's just, you know, oh, you know, you got, you got to adapt and, you know, yeah, it get, get real tricky around that motherfucker, man. <laughs> you gonna learn how to, hey, man, you going to learn how to adapt to the ghetto. you going to learn, man. you going to learn how to be an athlete because you're going to do some running. When them popos come, nigga, we going to do some running, <laughs> get some skates. Any motherfucker know we can do gymnastic tricks around that motherfucker, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. I mean, either that nigga will take your motherfucking ass down there in the dungeon, let the motherfucking, let them folks gaffle your ass up. Right. Shit, man. You run, nigga. Run for your life, Charlie Brown. <laughs> all right. All right. And, and, and I'm, 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 you know, I like to do this. A lot of people that live in L.A., man, the toughest of the tough, man, than been caught slipping in, in, in other people's hoods and probably had to get a Definitely. pass. Definitely. Ha, do you have any, maybe an embarrassing story or a, 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 a less than embarrassing story where, hey, you went to school with somebody, you got caught in the hood, and they say, hey, I know him, I know, I, I know B.D., that's my boy, man. Let him rock, man. Let him, let him get up out. Let him do his thing. Man, look, I got a cold, cold. Oh, look. Ooh, wait, let, let me tell you. I'm going <laughs> to leave the thing 
stands out, right? And these two very, these, if I say the names, man, these are, these are, these are, this is factual shit. This is factual shit. So look, I'm going to just say it like this. Um, caught slipping, actually just no, 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 because look, I always, I, I, I tried to be on that shit tough. Now, if, if I have, I can't think right this minute, right? right. But, but I, 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 I fucked around and let an individual, you know, that I fucked with take me on, on, on the wrong side mm. to a very comfortable individual's house. That's from the other side. Oh. They were, they, they, they were, these are rappers. Oh. These are rappers. I walked in this house. I got another guy with me. I'm with a rapper and another guy that's affiliate. He's a crip. He's, he's from, he's from the hundreds too. He ain't from hard time, but he's from the hundreds too. He's with me, right? Mm -hmm. But this is my first encounter with this individual. I never met him before, but he's with the rapper guy, which is a homie. He ain't from the hundreds, but he a homie. And we go to his folks' house. We walk in the motherfucking door. I already tell the rapper homie, like, hey, man, I, hey, look, bro, I'm going to tell you, nigga, if these niggas see me, nigga, it's over. Wow. It's a rap. He like, nigga, this is my motherfucking folks. Nigga, you straight. Woo, 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 woo. So I'm like, all right, for sure, you sound confident, so let's go. Man, as soon as... He walk in the door first. I'm the last nigga. The second nigga walk in, that was from the hundred. The niggas inside knew that nigga and went ballistic. Oh. Nigga, but, nigga, let's get me back in this motherfucking truck and get me up out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so the rapper in there, you know, talking. Oh, man, whoa, 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 whoa. man, y'all go back in the truck. So I go back in the truck, boom. But yeah, that 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 was that was the closest I could tell you, homie, to <laughs> where it has been deadly. Because those were the guys, they would have loved to have me. And he didn't even know I was walking in his house. Wow. Bless, bless your peace. Bless that man's soul, though. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Wow. Yes, sir. I walked in the guy's house, man. Let me tell you. Woo! I say, oh, shit. Let me go. Get up out of here. I might have to do some running if it go bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I respect hey. your honesty, bro. I do, bro. I do. Woo. Wow, mm -hmm. that's dope. All right. So I, that's, that's it, but I, I mean, you know, I've been caught slipping, you know, uh, uh, in my own hood plenty of times. And when I say caught slipping, it's any time you get caught with your drawers down and you can't counteract the way you want to. Your equilibrium is off because the motherfucker caught you and straggled you real quick and you can't regroup. You got to just get on. So, yeah, nigga been caught slipping. You know, it go both ways, tell me. That shit go both ways. You feel me? That shit is a real jungle, nigga. It's real animals. You go get chased, and you go do some chasing. You know what I'm saying? For sure. For sure. Yeah. I respect it, bro. Wow. I thank you for that one, man. I'm pretty sure people gonna appreciate that one, man. Man, it's all good, bro. And uh, now I'm gonna let you take over. Anything I might not have asked that, you know... You want to touch on, or you got the floor? Uh, well, shit, man, nothing too much major. I think we kind of like, uh, kind of hit everything, bro. Shit, uh, you know, I just, uh, I, I, I just, I just, I, I just, I, now I'm supporting the fact that I need, uh, you know, older homies to start, you know, kind of lacing the young ones more thoroughly, homie, and, you know, so they don't be crash dummies and shit, because they, they want to be down, homie, and they want to show a nigga they with the business, so they'll crash out to show you, homie, and that's not cool. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and niggas, they bread, niggas that use their money and use these niggas' heart. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't have the heart to do it, but you got money and you can buy the guns and support. It's like you bought you a robot, and then you crash niggas out. Cause, you know what I'm saying? Because you know this guy might come from a broken family or whatever the case. See what I'm saying now, nah, nigga, nigga, nigga. When I was coming up, man, my big homies, man, they taught a nigga how to do stuff, homie. Nigga, they used to get mad when the nigga, you know, get, I used to get kicked out of school all the time. You know, always into something. You know what I mean? Right. And uh, I was also trying to, you know, uh, pursue a music career. And they, and they like, bro, 
Like, bro, why you so, why you love this shit, Modi? You love this shit. Like, you don't get it? Like, nigga, you can get rich doing this shit. But it was like the hood was there, bro. So. Right. It's like you got to teach your young homies, homie, that the hood always going to be right here. My nigga, that shit was here before you was here. It's going to be after. You being a, a, a beneficial character, not being in jail, because guess what? In there, a nigga don't count no more. I mean, you do because you got loved ones and love you and all that, but nigga, you not no, you ain't, you ain't beneficial to the hood in jail. Nigga, you beneficial to the hood on the streets. Right. Niggas, they truth. That's just like if you're on the battlefield in the army, nigga, what good is you if you're not on the battlefield, but you up in the kitchen serving food? All right, cool. You out there making sure we eat, but nigga, you ain't out here, nigga, in these trenches. So, right. you know, I mean, it's, it, you know, come on, bro. You got to teach me motherfuckers, man, when they coming in, you got to get them a little prep talks. My big homies, I remember when we was young, man, growing up, man, you gonna get put on the hood, you had to go through a long-ass sermon, man. We had a big homie that'd take your ass and walk you away, and nigga, you either gonna come back with a firm decision, or nigga, once you, once you make that, you gonna tell you, once you make this decision, homie, this is it, my nigga, once, once, once you decide to get put on, this is it, bro. Your life has changed forever. Right. So you make sure this is what you want to do. Because it's come with a lot. It come with a lot of pressure that everybody ain't built. They ain't built for it, bro. You know, we only human, homie. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's why you got to be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't pressure no nigga up to be something he ain't, man. Don't make no nigga go kill if he ain't no killer. He might just be a player. Let that nigga bring the bitches to the hood. Ha! Real shit, real shit, real shit. <laughs> real but he shit. got a car, so you want him to drive because you a broke nigga and you might be a gunner. But you broke and ain't got no car. And he got a car, so you want this guy. <laughs> that's what. That's when it goes bad. <laughs> real Don't shit, bro. Don't force a nigga to do something. You might turn him into something he might have never been had you not did that. Right. Right. So yeah, that's man. That's all I got to say, bro. Cause I mean I can go on all day, nigga. You know me. I say, hey, man, <laughs> all day. So I, I, I'm, I ain't go, I ain't go hold you all day, bro. I mean, anything else you need from me, you already know what time it is, man. Uh, like I say, uh, any older, any any older history, you know, I can uh, arrange. I'm pretty sure I can arrange some shit for that. But I'll, everything I give you is my my whole little time frame, my timeline, and some things I can uh, recall. You know, before I uh, actually was out on the on the on the on the baseball field, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for but, uh, sure. Yeah, just holler, bro. For, I, hey, good. bro. I think I, I think I gotta make you a regular guest on the show, man. What y'all think, man? Yeah, this one, man. This, this <laughs> you, man. yeah, bro. You fire with it, man. You sick with it, man. And fans loving you, bro. Hey, I'm gonna definitely tap in with you, man. You coming back, man? For sure, man. But, hey, we didn't reach the end of it, man. Thank you all for tuning in, man. And, uh, yeah, look out for yeah. look out for what, what, what we got coming soon, man. And appreciate this history. He just gave you some real solid that you could not find on the Internet. They're probably homies from 706 Bellflower didn't even know. So, yeah, appreciate this, man. Hey, hey, like I say, if anybody can correct anything that I'm saying for sure, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh. I mean, I, I I I think I'm pretty accurate what I talk about, but at the same time, nigga, if it's something that's not on point, hey, somebody can step up and correct. You know what I'm saying? And and, sure. and, and, and I'm, I'm I'm open, I'm open for dialogue. And you know, I I ain't, I ain't uh I ain't mad at failure. You know, we all make mistakes, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm where I'm at. <laughs> right, for sure, man. All right, man. Well, we sought it out, man. We out of here, man. Wiggins TV. Yeah. Keep my ass off this time. Big middle figures to my enemies, cause I bang. Blue strain bandana, I'm just rapping my game. The shit I seen up in the streets would drive a nigga insane. And what I'm doing with this piece depend on what you go bang. If you ain't trying to catch a body, then you know you can't hang. Consequences with this life, shit, it come with this pain. I'd rather start one of you niggas than to die by the gang. And if I slide through your hood, I ain't touching my chain. I'm a fan of his city, but of all minis. I'ma get this shit my all and I go hard with it. We know for hopping out the pause when we really tripping. And if you really he got a problem, let me put this clip in Four, five, cock it back and let it blow I scream an XO, and you can't forget the phone Really 
going hard for the dough is all I know Cause I can be another nigga considered as a joke All I got is hope, and all I got is dreams And all I got is everything for me to straight to see Headed to the top of four quarters, that's some sleep Gotta watch these niggas cause my bit is in these streets Two of my beats, the west side with some east He can get a little messy, but I'd rather keep it neat Try to pay me like I'm sweet, like I ain't driller of the week But the water rain pour, but it never drip on me Big middle figures to my enemy cause I bang Blue string bandana, I'm just rapping my day The shit I seen up in these streets, we drive a nigga insane And what I'm doing with this beat depends on what you gon' bang If you ain't trying to catch a body, then you know you can't hang Consequences with this life, shit it come with this pain I'd rather start one of you niggas than to die by the gang And if I slide through your hood, I ain't tucking my chain Quick with this. 